So the mining off camera has been completion. So what do we do next? So the primary objective today is to take all of this sewage that I've gotten over the past couple thousand rebirths and turn it into something half decent. So here's a couple particular highlighted items that I've gotten. I somehow got one of these. I got a shiny one of this, of course. I mean, I, I just had to have because I have infinite of these. 78 big bad blasters, 60 flaming Schrodingers. It's looking, it's looking about right for, in terms of the items that I would get. Here's all my shinies. As you can tell, none of them are very special. All right, so we're gonna go hit the tower. Two thirds of the way there to a Zarbamba. First things first, Symmetrium mine. Painfully close to the Hades Palace evolution. So I need three green tea kettles for this enchantment, so. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, the only thing not allowing me to get this is the meatball sandwich, so as soon as I get that, I'm sprinting back here at light speed. Still don't have enough dragon blasters for this, sadly. Wow, some of this stuff I am just way far away from still. I think the gargantuan mine, the angel's blessing, and the cornucopia, I'm close to getting all three of those, but the rest are just... Nah. I'd say Life 3000 is right on the borderline of having to build a much bigger setup. So this <laughs> this has been my setup for a while now. As you can tell, there's a, a lot happening. So we have the small but humble massive diamond mine farm in the background. We have a research point farm going on here. And here's the actual setup. Here's the pizza farm. As you can tell, everything's going swimmingly. And I am making just enough to get by. But I did just get another quantum clockwork and pizza catalyst. So I could add those. But in order to do that, I would have to move a lot of stuff around. Oh, I didn't have to move anything. That fit perfectly. Oh, I already have a catalyst. That makes things complicated. Well, fixed. Alright, great, we're back to skipping a life, if I wanted to. Let's see what I'm dealing with right now. Dreamer's Terror, that is a big furnace. I don't remember how good this thing was. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. How much does the regular anguish do? What is the point of getting this furnace? It's barely better. You only get it for evolution's sake and enchantment recipes. I guess I can show the true overlord device farm. No, I can't. I need more money. So I just had this looping through a normal, regular garbage set of stars. And I just have this waiting to be used, which is very overkill, but it is what it is. What it does mean is I don't have to wait nearly as long for this to upgrade itself. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the oars now, and just let them, let them fly for a minute. In fact, it wouldn't hurt if I got another neutron star. I do have like 30 trillion red giants, so I might as well. I'm gonna get one of these too. Alrighty, check this thing out. Isn't that fantastic? Let's go take a look at it. It's an upgrader. So I simply buy another teleporter, and alright, setup's complete. Make those stop looping, put the Tesla in. Hit the pulsar, replace the pulsar, and then I wait. They are already worth enough. Just didn't even need to wait that long. Great. Outstanding. We did it, everyone. That was extremely close. All right, I'll do like 12 more rebirths, and then I'll get back to you. All right, we're back. Different day, and got another 100 lives. And I must say, within that 100 lives, I managed to get what I needed for the corn eucopia but now I need to get the behemoth blossom so now I have to do just a couple more rebirths until I get that which knowing my luck will be a few hundred I have a feeling I'm gonna get 50,000 other slipstreams before I get the one that I need what
I swear, every slipstream that you actually need is artificially made 50 times rare. Oh my god! When I said it would probably take me a couple hundred tries, I was being sarcastic. But it actually did take that many tries. Oh my goodness. Alright, what do I need? Furnaces. Where's the lemon one? There we go, let me just... Yep. I don't remember how many it was, but just in case it's obnoxious. There we go, there's a thousand and eighty-nine lemon lands. Now I just need a thousand shards. Morningstar, you're useless. What about I get rid of fifty of you? Mineral wheel, you're also useless. Oh, man. When I restarted this recording to get this enchanted upgrader, all I needed was a slipstream. I put food in the oven when I started recording. The food finished, I ate the food, and then I finally got the item. That was obnoxious to get a single slipstream. All right, so the beautiful cornucopia starts off at a relatively mediocre 10 times. And every single food item you have on your base makes it god tier, so that is what I'm going to do now. I already have some on my base by default, so I'm going to see what's it, what it's at right now. It's already at a hundred multiplier. So if I do that... Yep, it continues to add to its girth. Alright, this is now my base with all of the pizza-related <laughs> items on. It looks like a mess, but man, we're just making it more and more beautiful as time goes on. Except now the problem is where to put it. Because as you can tell, I don't have much area to work with. It's an ugly amount of time to get it to load, but... You know what, that's, part of, that's partly just the gag, so I'll leave it like that for now, but I have to figure out where to put this. Yeah, I might just do that for now. Oh yeah, I forgot, it has that little problem. One of these things cost 100 shards, that might be, that might be bought now. God, this base just looks beautiful from a distance. Would you look at that, it fits just like a blanket. The extent I've gone to not change how the overall layout of this setup goes and actually be successful in doing that is quite the feat. Okay, no, this has to move at least one inch though. Oh man, perfect. I do have to get rid of the ancient Colosseum, but that's obviously far worse than the cor cornucopia. And now our beautiful setup is complete, but is it that much better? Probably not. Well, the first ore that went in gave me enough, so that's a good sign. This also buffed the pizza furnace, because it, it generates strength off the exact same thing. Oh, hey! There's another one. And the meatball sandwich itself is a pretty good upgrader, too, so I might use that. The two food enchanted items have now been acquired. Dreamer's Blight, I need two more of those. Dreamer's Terror, I have one. So just dr one more Dreamer's Nightmare and two more Blights, and I have this. Unless it takes another 200 rebirths to get the nature's enchantment. And this one's the exact same story, it's just dragon glass blasters I'm missing. Still need six to just get that singular enchantment. And it wouldn't even be worth it initially, because then I would just be out of my dragon blasters. This one I can just pretty much get, but it, it's really not that much better than the pizza furnace. So two enchantments down, and I'm dangerously close to a couple more. The Zarbamba I'm starting to get fairly close to as well. Oh! Oh! Hey, nice to see you again! Oh, it didn't take very long to get it when I didn't need it. Well, I'm 3.3 thousand right now, and I just trimmed some fat off of my setup, so... Here's the brand new setup right now. It's not that much different, but it is slightly faster, and it takes a hell of a lot less time to load in. So that's what I was going for. It's anywhere from 14 to 16 seconds now, and there's a pulsar as well, so I can just click it if I want. And it helps get a little bit more, because this setup will only work for another 300 lives or so, and then I gotta add an upgrader. But until then, this is what I'm going to run, because there's no point adding more upgraders to slow down the setup until I need to, and hopefully by then I get enough items to get an enchantment item I need, for instance. 
I am getting pretty close to the time where I will start life skipping. I'm thinking life 4000 is what I'm going to build my big setup to start life skipping. Just so that I can get the advanced reborn items faster and more rare but better items faster. Just so I can get get things really moving along here. Because at the end of the day, I'm not. this isn't a, a, a slot that I'm going to use forever. I'm going to start speeding up the process pretty soon. And until then, there really isn't much more to see until I am a bit of a higher life and have more items to play with. By the way, I've gotten the Behemoth Blossom five times since I struggled to get it once in 150 lives, by the way. So episode 12 will start at around life 4,000 or 5,000. And that is when I will build my ultimate life skipping setup with the items I have acquired up until that point. So hopefully by then I have a couple more enchantments. It ultimately depends on how generous the game feels like being. There's one or two I can get right now. For instance, I just got this so I can get the Devourer of Nightmares. But for now, I think I'm just going to hold steady with the Pizza Furnace. I've already gotten more platforms, and I've also gotten some ore evaluators, so I am definitely ready to go for more end game related setups. So until then, I hope you enjoyed watching whatever the hell this is, episode 11, and I will see you for the next one. For good measure, I'll end the video at life 3333, just so we can feel special about ourselves. Insert outro where I launch myself out of a cannon.